So I just spent $750 on uh, Google Maps Scraper from AppSumo, and I'm pretty much going to play around with it today. This has a lot of legs to be one of the greatest tools out there, mostly because of how affordable it was. $750 is a lot, but what you get is 75K um, scrapes per month. So if I'm doing this every month, I think there's, I think we can, we could, uh, we can crush it here. Um, anyways, for the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna eat some creatine plus report my numbers from the day before. If you guys aren't into that, simply skip on ahead down below. All right. Um, oh, do me a favor, comment Google map scraper for the YouTube algo. And, uh, if you guys don't mind, go on to the first link in the comment section and, uh, go ahead and you know what, go ahead and click it and go like it on uh, X. I think it's a banger. This one's, it's like some really hacky local SEO tactics. Here you go. All right, so yesterday we did 1868 in total revenue down $30 from the day before. We have Amazon coming in at 896, Mediavine at 90, uh, $78, and the adult revenue source at 894. Nothing's as consistent as my adult revenue source, eh? It's amazing. Here we go. All right. So if you sign up for the first link in the YouTube description, you get sent the URL to this sheet. Today is episode 512. And if you can do me a favor, comment Google Maps Scraper for the YouTube algo. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to start playing around with it and I'll keep you guys posted on how things go. Anyways, uh, before we get started, th I saw this sock leads. I was like, you know what? Why not try it? Scrape thousands of prospect emails from social media and Google Maps. I was like, you know what? I need both of those things. So why not give it a try? Um, it looked pretty good on the screenshot. Only thing is... I don't know what is going on in the back end. If I'm like blocking JavaScript or something, maybe I need to like disable on this website. I don't know. Bup, bup, bup. No filtering. Let's, let's get on this site. Oh. No filtering will take place, but it still looks like anyways, it just means some CSS is getting blocked. Um, it just looks like crap, but so I bought it yesterday. Um, the reason why is we want to scrape for directories and we want to scrape for, um, sales. Cause you know, me, your boy is like very much into sales right now. So I figured why not? All right. So let's play around with it. Um, let me give you a couple ideas of how we can make money with this. Number one, you can scrape based off of um, keywords on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. Helps because if I want to scrape people to posting about local SEO on LinkedIn, on all those um, channels, then we can pitch them, you know? Um, so it'll be great for local rank. So I'll, I'll, I wanted to give it a try. Let's say... Local, um, local SEO, how many results? Let's say five, 10 K because I doubt it will hit there. Include synonyms in search. No avoid duplicates. Yes. Validate emails. Great. Let's get it going. All right. And I'm gonna give you a couple other things I've searched before. When I did local SEO on Twitter, it was only returned 51, which is incorrect. Cause I was able to get way more on lobster. Um, I guess I'll show you guys what lobster is. They were kind enough to send me a free um, plan. So what lobster is, it's actual scraper. Um, Twitter results scraper. I think I was able to get like... How many results I was I able to get in here? So I scraped 500, All right, So pretty good, pretty good. I'm not mad about it. The only thing is it uses your own accounts to scrape. So I don't know if you're going to get clapped for that. Very, very, um, 
sus. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I need something better. TikTok, I scraped 1600. Um, let's take a look at the data. Make sure it's uh, decent. Quite spammy, you know? Like who is Ashley SEO? Let's see. Oh, she's pretty legit actually. But I think SEO here is like her last name. You know what I mean? So not great. I think what I need to do is go a level deeper and scrape like local SEO for TikTok instead. But, 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 and the thing is, if we did SEO and we only got 1600, how many is local SEO going to get, right? All right. But anyways, let's get on, on to Google Maps where I think it's where most people are interested in. Uh, keyword, let's try property management companies, right? Let's see how it works. Uh huh. General keywords get more results. School. Okay. Let's try property management then. How did I, did I use Outscraper for property management? Who did I use? I don't even remember. Was it Lobster? It was pro, oh, okay. So Lobster is decent actually. Cause how much is this plan? 50 bucks for 50 euros for a million credits. Oh, I see. So what I did was I used parameters, right? And then I selected for activity, I searched uh, property management company. Okay. So let's try property management as a comparison, right? Um, location. I know, oh man, this is weird. So city required, right? And if you select multiple locations, it looks like this. So you have to one line. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's no easy way to like, be like, yo, just scrape the entirety of the U S. So how am I going to do this? What I did was I went into chat GBT. And I was like, yo, give me the top 50, um, top 50 cities, most populous cities in, uh, the U S. So got that. And then I saved it as a dot txt file. All right. So, um, I uploaded it here. Looks decent. How many results are we going to go for? Let's say 5,000. How many did I get for? my other site. I don't know. This looks decent, but I don't know if I want to keep this, keep it. It seems like it's under scraping. If that makes sense. Um, do I need to validate email? Sure. You know what? Might as well use up some credits. Right. And like, it's kind of buggy too, because you know what I mean? Like, what was that? I guess I'll be right back and I'll try to fix it again. Okay. I'm back. Um, now let's try search and now let's see the early. Numbers we're looking at here. Oh, he scrapes Facebook too. That's nice. What is this? BDSEO. Okay. Looks all right. Not a, a lot of people in the U S though. That's the only thing. Mm. Yeah. Jury's still out. Anyways. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like lobster is just cleaner. You know what I mean? It's just easier to use. Like, what is this? 
Uh, let me know if you guys were in my position, would you refund this? Would you keep it? Um, let me answer some questions from the day before because I think you guys liked that episode yesterday. SEO skills still valuable for all search inputs? Yes, I agree. Um, I, I'm sure SEOs were, are going to be fine from uh, Google AI mode. Thank you. For even Vancouver, how do you achieve that level of organic traffic? It's a lot of social. So like, you know how I'm doing outreach, right? Dude, we're doing hundreds of outreach a, um, a day. So people are searching up like, oh, what's uh, eating Vancouver? And that's just so good for SEO. All right. Yes, we're cooked for AI mode, but there's still ways to make money. Yes, I agree. Um, local SEO, I think it's going to be untouched largely. So we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. All right. Bub, bub, bub. Yeah, we prefer daily videos with no edits. I like the new stuff as well. Gravy. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. How do you think this will affect local? I think local will be fine. I'll keep you guys posted though if, if things change. All right. Go oh, yeah, mode. Unpolished is great. I appreciate you guys. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.